Hey friends, how's it going? Uh, this is Kelly, just finished today's workout. This was day 15, can you believe it? Um, and the workout was tempo, back, and biceps. Um, one of my favorites, as you guys know, uh, my biceps are like my babies, love them. And I love uh, getting them all pumped up and everything. Um, really had um, a great uh, time today working on my lats. With the tempo workout, um, we did some pullovers and um, some pull-ups, which again, I used the door attachment with the resistance band to do. And I really just wanted to focus. I wanted to focus on those lats. I don't know why um, it's more difficult for me to be conscious of making sure I squeeze those really tight and keep them uh, you know, contracted. It's a lot easier for me to do that with my biceps. So I really made a conscious effort today with the lats, and I'm really hoping that um, you know, I feel the effects of that when I get up in the morning. I know, right, I want to be sore when I wake up in the morning, but, you know, I just want to get that nicely worked out feeling. <laughs> um, so, great workout. I have no complaints with those tempo workouts. I didn't even toy with doing the build um, back and biceps today. I knew from the very beginning that the next time I had an opportunity to do that tempo workout, I was going to take it, and that's what I did. Um, Nutrition today has been going really well. I spent about an hour yesterday um, retweaking my uh, weekly meal plan. So, um, you know, I'm still sticking with obviously the same portions because we haven't gotten to the 30 day point where it's time to recalculate the portion uh, ratios. So I'm still sticking with the same portions, you know, for fruit and vegetables and legumes and all those things. Um, but I wanted to, you know, just kind of switch up the, the meal plan experiment with some different things. So what I had today um, that I really enjoyed was um, I needed to get some more starches in. Um, I had been relying on brown rice as my main starch. And I do have some quinoa um, that I'm going to cook tonight. There's a recipe for breakfast quinoa, and that's what I'm going to be having for dinner when I finish this video. So I'm going to try that today. And then I also um, had some all brand. So Kellogg's all brand, I know this is weird, but my grandmother, that used to be her favorite cereal when I was growing up. And I don't drink milk. So anytime I eat a cereal, I eat it dry. So it has to be, you know, obviously something that I think tastes really good <laughs> dry. And I love all brand like that. I know it's where it's boring and plain and it's kind of like eating sticks, but um, I just love all brand. And, you know, that's just what it is. So I really enjoyed that today. I also um, made stuffed green peppers. Um, so I cut them in half, uh, took all the seeds and everything out. Um, and the stuffing was brown rice, cheese, and um, like this chili sauce. I think it's Heinz chili sauce or something like that. So I used just one uh, bag of Success Boil in the Bag brown rice. Uh, one cup of cheese and then I think like four teaspoons of the uh, Heinz chili sauce and so I mixed all the stuffing together you had to parboil the green peppers um, and then I put them you know on a cookie sheet and stuck them in the oven covered with the stuffing in them and baked them for about 40 minutes um, so that got me um, a vegetable actually I think it was two vegetable portions um, one starch, one protein from the cheese. So that was just another way for me to, you know, switch up how I'm getting those portions in, uh, which is really important. Um, and also another new thing that I'm going to be trying this week is lentils. Um, <laughs> we have had a lot of discussion in, in one of my uh, Body Beast Facebook groups about lentils and, you know, how it's just a whole lot of beans. And I've never had them before. Um, they were very easy to cook. Um, so I'm going to be having lentils for the first time a little later. So I'm excited about my lentils. Um, anything else that I did this week with my nutrition? I don't think so. Um, it's on target for today. I am still, you know, getting all my fruit, lots of blueberries, strawberries, um, bananas. I still love the high energy trail mix. That is one of my staple recipes. Um, that's the way I get in all my fat uh, and make sure that it's good fat. So, um, I'll be doing that, I know for sure, the whole 90 days. It's one of my favorite recipes. Um, I also made ground chicken to go um, with my stuffed peppers as, you know, a protein, another protein portion. Um, so I have about four ounces of ground chicken along with the stuffed pepper. And I've never had ground chicken before, and I really like it. Just seasoned it up with some pepper, 
um, some garlic powder and some other salt-free seasonings and I really loved it so yeah um, okay so it's Monday um, it's day 15 so this morning when I woke up I did take my measurements um, so I'm going to report to you guys that so far I have lost uh, 3.75 inches from my chest waist hips and thighs. Um, this morning when I woke up, I had lost 1.25 inches from my chest, which is awesome. Um, and then my thighs, my right thigh went down a half an inch. My left thigh went down 0.25 um, of an inch. So I'll take it. <laughs> um, I have gained 0.5 inches in my right bicep. Told you it was getting bigger. <laughs> and I gained 0.25 inches in my left bicep. And I have gained a total of 2.8 pounds. Um, not happy about that. I said I was going to stay off the scale, but, you know, I kind of want to keep it accurate of counting of, you know, what actually is going on with my body every week. So I hopped back on it this morning. Um, we've been having a lot of conversations with people in the Body Beast groups about how the scale messes with your mind. Um... You know, people are afraid. They're afraid of putting on the weight. I completely and totally understand that. I have worked so hard since January to take the weight off. <laughs> um, and now it's coming back, um, but it's supposed to come back. I, I have to keep telling myself, just like I keep telling the people in my Facebook group, this program is designed to put on lean muscle. So in the bulk and the, the build in the bulk phases, I'm going to gain weight. And that's just the reality of it. And I have to accept that. It doesn't make me happy. Um, it makes me a little uncomfortable. But I still am trusting the process. At this point, you know, that's all I can do. They worked on this. It's a scientific thing. Um, you know, these people know what they're doing. I'm taking the supplements. Um, I'm going to purchase my Suma supplement tomorrow. So uh, as at the start of the bulk phase next week, I will be taking Suma. So I'll be on all four supplements. And I'm just trusting. I'm just trusting the program and hoping that, uh, you know, it works out in my favor. <laughs> um, I am still losing inches, and I can't, I can't deny that. The tape measure shows that. Um, so I'm losing somewhere and gaining other things, and I'm really hoping that, you know, it's either water weight that will come off eventually or it's truly muscle and like I said I feel like my muscles look different I feel like my legs are getting leaner um, I feel a lot I just feel better I feel better about my body I feel more um, mobile I, I want to move I want to do these workouts and I really enjoy this program so just trust in the process um, and that's all you know I have to report today so Thank you guys for watching. Um, leave me comments or questions if you have them. Send me a friend request if you wish. And um, I'll see you guys after tomorrow's workout. All right. Bye.